Hey guys, it's Lara, and I have moved. I got an email last Friday saying, hey, you don't have a roommate, and there's this other girl on your floor who doesn't have a roommate, so you guys are going to be living together, and you have until Monday to pick which room you're going to live in. So we decided to live in her room because she has a private bathroom, and she also doesn't have the freaking trash trucks outside of her window. And then on Monday, we got an email saying we had until Wednesday noon to have my stuff moved in her room. So that happened this week. My roommate, her name is Claire, she's from Philadelphia, and she's really, really nice. Um, we're kind of in this phase of, like, uh, over-politeness right now, because we've only been living together for a couple days. So we're like, is it okay if I do this? Is, is that okay? And it's weird going from, like, living with Madison and being like, Madison, get, get down and get your own stuff off the floor, to being very, very polite all the time, but it, it's nice. I don't know, it's it's really cool. I, I think it's going to take a bit for us to like get used to living together and understand each other's like schedules and needs and that kind of stuff, but right now it's, it's really good. I'm going to give you guys a little tour of my dorm room. So this is my dorm room now. This is my side. The Keep Calm and Carry On poster has basically stayed where it is. And my bed is unmade right now, but ignore that. And then this is our bathroom, which we don't have to share with anyone. It's really, really tiny. Like, it makes airport bathrooms look amazing. But this sink is like getting your hands bathed by angels. It is beautiful. And this is my roommate's side. A lot of her stuff is pink. I'm not really a fan of pink, but it's okay. It doesn't, I mean, I don't have any pink stuff, but it doesn't bother me that she has it. And my closet. Again, I need to do laundry again. And the stig is like half peeking out. And it's it's kind of funny because I can like sit at my desk and see her sitting at her, hers. Kind of just have conversations like that. I walk on this very pretty footpath every day when I go to class. And it's pretty and it's shaded and it's like surrounded by these trees and it's really nice. There are just tons, there are just people walking to and from class and it's very relaxing. Except for the people who decide that they want to ride their bikes on this footpath. If you are riding a bike on a footpath, you can go die in a hole. The dorm I live in is notorious for its fire alarms going off all the time because this building has really old wiring in its fire alarms. So we have had three fire alarms this week. We had two within four hours of each other on the same day. And we haven't had it any like in the middle of the night yet or at a time when people were all showering. But whenever that happens, I can just imagine how many F-bombs are going to be dropped because there are enough F-bombs dropped when it goes off at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But it's not pleasant living in a dorm where the alarms go off all the time and you have to walk down five flights of stairs. And then inevitably there's a really long line for the elevator to get back up so you have to walk back up five flights of stairs. And I feel really bad for the firemen because every single time the alarm goes off, they have to come even though there's like basically zero chance that the dorm is burning down because this happens like all the time. My RA said that they had 20 in one semester last year. If that happens, Chelsea, I'm coming to live with you. The elevator's broken right now. Can't really say anything about that. I mean living on the fifth floor and not having an elevator kind of really sucks. Yep. I'm sorry I didn't have more wild adventures to tell you guys about, but I promise this week I will do everything I can to have wild adventures and do crazy things in order to make sure I have good stories to tell you guys. Bethany, I will see you tomorrow!